And a pleasant good evening, everyone. I'm Willie Martin, affectionately known as Mr. Will. Time for this week's installment of The Blitz Weekender, because it is a holiday weekend and we start the second half of 2013. This shall be a more augmented Blitz Weekender, if you will, covering the days of July 3rd through July 7th, since there will be all kinds of different events going on with the added day. And hopefully most of you get to enjoy a three or four day weekend. I know I'm going to, and I'm certainly going to look forward to that. More importantly, I, we at Blitz Weekly, we hope that you've had a good first half of 2013. May the second half be even more fun and fulfilling, and may you seize the day and get blitzed, although not literally designated driver if you know you're going to. Things to uh, ponder to do this weekend, and of course when I'm done here, read on down with, with the lovely Audra Stamp's going to recommend. She's got some good ideas to throw out your way in addition. A few things that come to mind for me for this Independence Day weekend. If you like fireworks, you have options. Option one, Lone Star Park, July 3rd and July 4th. Racing will start about 5 o'clock. When the sun goes down, you will have a very fine fireworks show going on. And if memory serves correctly, there will be a band playing in between races to keep your interest going. Great for the family and uh, lots of wonderful renovations done in the last year there to the tune of $11 million. So if you haven't been in a while, check it out. They're in their final week of this season. Uh, with horse racing there, Lone Star Park, July 3rd, July 4th. Sun goes down, fireworks going on there. July 3rd, as one who used to work in a sports bar in Addison back in the day, Kaboom Town, one of the greatest fireworks shows you will see uh, when the sun goes down July 3rd in the city of Addison. Get into Addison and Addison Circle early. Uh, parking will be at a minimum and probably a premium. Find a spot and uh, you'll be treated to live music. The smell of great food, there'll be uh, uh, places where you can uh, enjoy uh, good eats and the like. Not to mention the appearance of warplanes flying overhead if you're a historical buff for that sort of thing. When the sun goes down, a 30-minute fireworks show that's going to be second to none. That is worth checking out. And then if you're in the mood for sport, let's talk about uh, the Texas Rangers. They're finishing out a nine-game homestand. Uh, that began a week ago when Cincinnati came to town. They took two of three. Hugh Darvish finally gets a win. First one since May 16th. Mark Miller, great to meet you finally. He does good work, by the way, along with the Blitz Weekly family. Uh, Seattle in town right now. Seattle won this night. Fedora night, 9-2. to two. Not a good night for Mr. Uh, Justin Grimm. Grim Reaper, uh, not good. Uh, two more with Seattle. And then this weekend, you're going to have the Houston Astros in town. Their first trip to Arlington uh, since making this American League switchover. Texas took five of six down there, Mother's Day weekend, and to start the season back on March 31st, you might recall you Darvish had a perfect game, or almost a perfect game, April 2nd before Marwin Gonzalez broke that up after 26 straight. Houston in town for three, July 5th, by the way, a birthday for Bo Porter, the Astro skipper, happy birthday Bo from Blitz Weekly, and July 4th in Arlington, when that game ends up, or ends, with the Seattle Mariners, you'll see a great fireworks show there in addition. If you're a fan of soccer, FC Dallas, second place right now, three points out. Very, very rough June for them, by the way. They had six games in 29 days. A few of those were tied into the Gold Cup qualifying matches. They had a great win over the Houston Dynamo. They would fall to the Portland Timbers uh, quite a few games in a short period of time. Regular season record, uh, they dropped uh, one game in the month of June. Uh, that was a one nothing loss in Portland, ironically. Three ties, two of those to the tune of 2-2 two to two in Philadelphia with the Union last week, and then one week prior here against Sporting KC. Over 1,000 fans from Sporting KC came out to support um, that particular team, led by goalie Jimmy Nielsen. Two kids to keep an eye on for FC Dallas, Walker Zimmerman. He's been doing wonderful things while Zach Lloyd gets uh, better from a groin injury and also uh, George John recovering from a bad hamstring pull. Hopefully they'll be back July 4th. Chivas USA, hopefully a three-point win for FC Dallas. And you should see some fireworks there after that game ends. That's an 8 o'clock start in Frisco at FC Dallas uh, Park, formerly uh, Pizza Hut Park back in the day. They also go on the road Sunday to play the LA Galaxy, a team they beat one nothing back in, I believe, eight, late April when they were here. Um, 
that's worth checking out in addition. If you're a fan of comedy, may I then recommend a young man named Eric Griffin. You've seen him on Comedy Central. He's getting ready to start a series called The Workaholics. It's one of the funniest guys you'll come across. He'll be in Addison at the Improv Saturday night, July 6th. Go to AddisonImprov.com for more information. And for ticket availability, that's worth checking out. And let's also talk about July 4th, a long-held tradition and a popular tradition out Fort Worth Way. I actually saw this guy perform in concert not long after seeing Metallica. He had more chicks at his concert. Talking about Willie Nelson doing his Yugo July 4th thing over at Billy Bombs in Fort Worth. Uh, that'll be a fun time. Head on out there after, say, the 7 o'clock hour. And rounding things out, for more information, I now defer to the lovely Audra Stamp below this video. Read on down, because she will certainly have some recommendations in addition. It's July. Second half of 2013 is about to kick into high gear. Cowboy's now about 16 days away from the start of training camp. Will he or won't he? The talk about Dwight Howard, maybe coming to Dallas, maybe going to Houston, maybe staying in Los Angeles. That's my guess. He stays. I'm just thinking he wants to get all this attention. We will see. But this will conclude this week's installment of the Blitz Weekender. A reminder, when in doubt, seize the day, get blitzed. And don't look now, but we're looking into having things like this available in cap, t-shirt, polo variety. For more information, talk to my publisher friend Kelly Reed for more information. Kelly Reed at BlitzWeekly.com. And we're working on that, amongst other things. So to all my friends in the Blitz Weekly Nation, thank you for your time. I'm Willie Martin, affectionately known at Mr. Will. You'll also find me on Fishbowl Radio Network, Fridays 3 to 5, doing my show, my podcast, sports, and the like. Happy 4th, everyone. Enjoy your Independence Day weekend. Till next time.